Yo, what's popular YouTube? It's your boy Elixir, and today I'm bringing y'all another video. It's a, just a straight up live com of uh, this new game mode called Ransack, just launched in Black Ops Season One, Black Ops Six, Season One. And uh, you know, I played it. I just played a few games of it, and I'm like, you know what? This game is low key. This game mode is actually kind of underrated. It's actually pretty unique and pretty fun. Um, and I actually just played it on Skyline, which actually flowed really well that's definitely one of the better launch map if not the best launch map it's not like the greatest map ever uh that's obviously piccadilly from modern warfare 2019 but you know this uh this game mode's not bad and the flow on that map is really well done for this game uh in general but you know to be honest um i've been having a lot of fun with this game man i really have you know like yeah, it's 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 SBMM to the max at, at the end of the day, and it's like I can't hit shots right now, bro. It's SBMM to the max and whatnot right now, but you know it is what it is, bro. Like it's just something that's in the game, you know. They got their numbers, bro. I don't know how true the numbers are, you know. Like they could be lying. They could be saying like, no, it's not that. It's uh, what am I trying to say right now, bro? I've had four concussions. My bad, bro. But seriously, you you know you could you just gotta think like, what am I saying, bro? I was on on, on about active, but you gotta you know you gotta think about it, right? Like maybe maybe they're lying to us, saying like that the SBMM uh, helps keep player retention, you know? And I guess to a degree it does, but I don't know because even back in the day in Black Ops One, that's the game I grew up with as a little kid. Um, shitting on old people like me now, but like I I played that game daily, bro, daily, and um, I absolutely loved it. I loved it. I, you know what map I really miss? Firing range. Uh, what's the one uh map that's like out outside your um? What's it called? It's like snowy. It has like a big satellite dish. There's like a little there's like little carts that take you up and down Well, they don't really take you up and down. They'll take you outside the map where you die um, I forget what it's called. but Yeah, that man. I love black ops one and I get a lot of I get a lot of, a lot of nostalgia from that, you know um, I just wish you know that the maps were better to be honest um, But what am what am I gonna do about that bro? This is the product we got. This is what they've been working on for four years. Wow, we have gotten slammed this game, so I'll, I'll go next. But, you know, it is what it is. But overall, I think this game looks really fucking fun. Uh, I've been having a ton of fun with it. Um, it's just... It's just unique. It's a different kind of flow. It's a different style from your typical, like... What's the word? Uh, domination, hard point, etc. By the way, this bundle right here... This Mastercraft bundle is absolutely... I think this might be one of the, the best, like, cosmetics I've ever seen in gaming, bro. And that's coming from someone with a lot of fucking skins and CS. Um, that one... That, that, that cosmetic bundle in the store is absolutely fire. Anyways. To the point. Um, I'll see you guys in the next game where, where we will continue this. Alright, so actually, this is pretty fire. We actually got one of the new maps. Uh, this one's called Extraction. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. I have some issues with it, but I definitely think it's kind of better than some of the launch maps. Uh, Loki, let's go... Uh, what should we use here? Let's use this XM4. Yeah, I got Dark Spine on it. Um, I do think the default look for the I Dead skin is pretty fire. I think that whole bundle is just good, bro. Wow. How did he get there so fast? I must have skipped the thing. Oops, where's our stash? Okay. Stash is out there. This guy's on that helipad. This guy's in the helicopter. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I think like a lot of these modes, bro, like that people don't really give a chance. I think they're kind of underrated. I, li I like, I like these like little party modes, you know? And I know, uh, what's it called is coming. Prop hunt. Prop hunt's gonna be fucking awesome, man. But... I do like, the, like, these party modes, dude. Um, these are always a fun time. 
uh, and whatnot. But yeah, I've been having a blast with this game. There's a lot of inconsistencies in my opinion, like like how I didn't kill that guy, and other times like I feel like I would have killed him. Um, and right now, like you know, the XM4 I think is the best rifle at the moment. I I wanted to lay down there, and it just didn't do it. So. I feel like there's also some like input delay sometimes because it's not hitting you know what I mean so I don't know I forgot there's like a whole underground side of this map which it kind of turns it into a three lane map in this design but I just hate that you have to drop down because if there's it's just hard to get up there and without getting killed you know what I mean get back up there which is what sucks about it it's not like a quote-unquote true relay map but yeah anyways let me know what you guys think about these live comms or like about this live com at least because I, I you know I haven't really done one like ever I don't think I gotta drop down um but I have been having a grand old time with this game man um, I haven't been dissatisfied with a COD since 2019, and the time before that was probably like Black Ops 2, bro. Um, it's just that good to me. That guy must be AFK. Oh, yeah. He got out schmooed. I gotta see this. Was I not around the corner? Alright. Odd, but okay. But that's what I mean, man. I think some of the desync too. There's like a good bit of desync. I, I, I've I've been taking a look at like exit lag and stuff. I haven't tried it. Um, I have heard some people say like it actually does help with that kind of uh thing, like with the desync and everything else, and like the packet burst. I don't understand why we have constant packet burst. Like I, I actually don't understand how that's even possible. I don't get to what's going on with their servers. Bring back TAC insert. I swear, there was, that is not, not in the game? I swear that was. I just stole that bag. That was pretty good. Not 10 out of 10 for full. That's good. I forgot. I've been so I actually just uh, put my uh, mantle button uh, dedicated to B, and uh, I keep forgetting. But it does make a difference, man. It makes a big difference, um, especially like when you're trying to get on top of like some of that, like the blue house on Nuketown from the opposite side instead of climbing the the ladder side. It makes it so much easier. There's one more guy up there. Yep. Oh, he, if he hit that, that would have been fire. I wouldn't even have been mad, bro. How can you get mad at that? Bro's going for that 360, you know what I mean? But yeah, anyways. Also, you know that first day of Warzone? First day of Warzone was just terrible. Um, oh, fuck. I don't have, I don't have range. Oh, I almost had that. I sold the bag, though. I sold the bag, though. But anyways, yeah, Warzone's been pretty pretty fun for me. Um, and whatnot. Let's go. We only need five more. Dude, these guys have zero? Wow, we just ran through it. Anyways, yeah, I really like this game mode. I think you guys should give it a try. Um, it definitely plays much differently than what other game modes do. And I do think it's actually a lot more fun than a lot of other game modes. It's more chill. It's not as sweaty. And, yeah. And, you know... I think it actually helps with some of the maps flow because let's just be honest th these launch maps are not the greatest and their flow is terrible but I actually think this game mode really switches it up because people play it differently and stuff so yeah but anyways thanks for watching subscribe for maple it's my little dog I'm gonna throw up a picture for you guys or here check me out on twitch I do stream every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time give or take a couple hours Follow me on Twitter. All that stuff is down in the link description. 
Um, I will be kind of taking a break from streaming because I am moving houses. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.